Hey Tiana, it's Scott with Impact Lighten SEO. Uh, we spoke earlier and I just wanted to shoot over this quick video showing some tips and tricks that you can do in-house to help bring in more business using your website and your Google business profile. I would appreciate to hear your feedback about the video and I hope these strategies are helpful and educational for you as well. So here's your website right here. I do love the, the opening image right here. It's beautiful. I, I love the, you know, mountains and outdoors and trees. So it just reminds me of, you know, that type of area, which is great. Um, and, you know, getting a free, you know, your customers to submit just right up on top, offering, you know, that right up top is really good too. Um, but one thing about your website that I kind of notice is there's a lot of pictures, but there's not too much um, content. And the reason I say that is because Google loves to see content. They want to see 1,500 to 2,000 words on your homepage. And throughout that content, you want to be found for different um, keywords that would be in Google searches. Um, like uh, roofing contractor, Tahoe roofing contractor would be a great buyer intent keyword because it has a location and also a service here. Um, and also, if you save all your images correctly, especially these ones down here, um, if you saw, save the alt text correctly, um, you could add buyer intent keywords in the background here, um, and that would count as content as well because it's embedded behind the pictures for you. So I did go ahead and throw your website into a tool I use called Arifs. Um, this is this will show me your analytics and kind of show me where you're setting. Um, the DR is the trust that Google has for your website. It is on a scale of 100, and by implementing the strategies I'm talking about, it will boost these numbers here. Um, you're currently at a nine trust with Google, which is pretty decent. Um, but you're looking. The reason you're at nine right here is because of your backlinks and referring domains. And it looks like you know what a backlink is, but just in case you don't, um, a backlink is when one website links to another website via clickable button or text. But not all backlinks are created equal. Um, so I do recommend avoiding the spammy backlinks while going after the authoritative ones. And you do that by staying relevant to your industry and also your location. It also shows that you are being indexed for uh, 486 keywords and you're getting about 270 people to your website each and every month. This is a third party tool, so that is just a guesstimate. And once again, by implementing these strategies, that'll boost you know, your online traffic to your website. Um, so looking at your um, keywords that you're being indexed for, what's pops up? Uh, mill roofing, which is good. There's 600 searches each month and you're you know, on the first page of Google, third position. Um, but that one isn't really, at least for me, I do not really consider that a buyer intent keyword. Um, you know, if they're looking for your website, that's really good, but buyer intent keywords would be like, you know, Reno roofing, Reno roofing companies, Reno, uh, roof snow removal services. I didn't know that was a thing, but that's cool. Um, but like those are buyer intent keywords because they have a service and also, uh, or I guess that one's not, that's a national keyword, Reno roof, uh, Reno roofing com companies, those ones because they have a location and a service for you. And for all these buyer intent keywords, you are on like this second or bottom page of the first, bottom of the first page of Google. Um, so, you know, those are the ones that I would highly recommend ranking because those are the ones that will convert to a customer a lot more than say just the mill roofing ones. Um, and just to kind of give you an idea, I just looked up roofing, roofing Reno um, and you usually get your Google guaranteed services up top and then you get, you know, your local ads right here. Um, and this is a great way to generate business quickly for you. So if that's something you need, you know, that's something you could do. But really being up in the Google business profile or Google map pack is where you want to be. And it's totally fine that you're not here right now. Um, there are so many ways to get up in this area. Uh, you could start by constantly be adding reviews. You could make sure that your business name, address, and phone number are the exact same all across the internet so you don't mislead Google. Um, and a tip that a lot of people don't know about is to post branded, geotagged, or geolocated photos weekly um, because that shows Google that you're growing your business organically. And then adding citations, which is your business name, address, and phone number into things like Yellow Pages and Yelp is really beneficial because Google's like a big, big popularity contest. And by giving out your information to as many people as possible, Google will start to trust you more and that will boost your business. And that's not only in your area, but it's in your surrounding areas as well. So Carson City, uh, you know, I know that you work over in California on some places too, so that's great. Um, 
And then being up in the Google business profile also generates about 30 to 40% of your website or, or your online traffic because they could just click on your website button right here. And then uh, when I was saying, you know, you're ranking for, you know, a particular keyword on the second or third page of Google, this is what I'm talking about down here, the, the organics. And it looks like DND Roofing is your number one competitor for Roofing Reno. And if we look at their website, you know, they have a click to call up here. Yep, it does work. Uh, you know, form submits, things like that. Um, you know, roofers in Reno, that would be like a buyer intent keyword. Um, they have a decent amount of content on theirs, probably about the same amount as yours. But, and and also, you know, they do service different areas. So um, I know that you have some pages for where you uh, service as well, which is great because that gives you more um, buyer intent keywords for different locations so that you can be found for more searches in Google. Um, but by implementing the strategies I'm talking about and, you know, having more content, better keywords, especially locational keywords, and then also uh, those authoritative backlinks and citations, you could start to outrank these guys. And once you start to do that, I mean, this is kind of, I just looked up Reno Roof and, you know, all these pop up. Um, but if you're looking, there's 300 searches, 300 searches, 300 searches. And these are all buyer intent keywords. Like, it looks like there's about eight of these. So you can see there's a huge amount of people looking for roofing companies in Reno. And when you start to rank above your competitors, a percentage of this total volume will start to go to your website instead of theirs. And a percentage of those people going to your website um, will give you a call and depending on your closing rate will turn into a customer for you. So Tiana, I really hope this video is beneficial for you. Um, thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate the feedback that you'll be giving me and I hope you have a great day.